Hey everybody, welcome back to Mike's Wooden Things and Stuff. We're going to go back to the uh, market, craft market table stocking today and make some little butter spreaders, cheese spreader things out of offcuts and scraps that I've got laying around uh, from charcuterie boards and just like the scrap piles. So, you want to see how I make these guys? I'm going to just throw them in with charcuterie boards for maybe five bucks or something. You buy a charcuterie board, you add one of these for five bucks. Or you can buy these by themselves in a little thing. So you're going to put a big jar of them on the table for, I don't know, 15 bucks or five bucks if you buy a board. Just, uh, you know, you got to have some cheap stuff. Some inexpensive stuff on the table as well to, you know, people who aren't walking around with hundred bucks in their pockets might still want to buy something off you if they got a 20 bill or 10 bill so you know give them some options here we go cheese spreader dings let's go bandsaw time <laughs> all right so i got this quarter inch oak template that i made for these a while ago um so i'm just gonna bring this around and find little scraps of wood that that fits on and then start cutting them out so we'll start down here in the oh there's a piece of maple that this template is basically designed that it will fit on eight quarter wood or you know anything wider than about two inches that's flats on and whatever so oh, what's up there's another maple uh nope too short what else we got oh, here's some more that'll do i don't want to make them all maple though oh, here's a piece of walnut that fit on there no uh some paduk oh those look too short all right, this pin, why do I keep such small things? Oh, there's some walnut. Bet it fits on there. Maybe, maybe. No, all right. All right, this bin, it stuff's too small in this bin. Let's check this bin over here. The Batman bin. Yeah, now we're talking. All right, there's a piece of walnut that'll work. Yeah. All right, get out of here, truck. Uh, what else we got? Oh, some purple heart. These pieces of purple heart fit. Maybe? No, of course not. Uh, maybe this one? Who is this? It says floor. Got this from a random bin of something that I bought off Craigslist or something. Okay, you know, that's close enough. They don't have to be exactly this size after all. Okay, that thing's gonna go too. Oh, that's eight quarter. I can go this way. No, not quite. But, all right, close enough that wise. Uh, so we're gonna look at the grain, and actually this one's cool, because the grain actually almost does a one of these right here, which is kind of the curve of the knife. So I'm just gonna put that on there, where that wants to go. I'm going to trace around it. All right, so I got my all sliced out. I got them taped back together because I'm gonna try just cutting one more around the outside. And then I'll have the rough shape of all the knives and I can go back to the spindle sander. Let's, let's see if that works. I don't know, usually I just cut them out one at a time at this point, but I'm gonna try to do this this time.
All right, so there we go. We got maple, bubinga, walnut, cheese spreaders. I call them icing scimitars because I think it sounds cooler and they kind of look scimitarish. Um, I recommend finding some scrap. If you make cutting boards and charcuterie boards and stuff for markets, grab some of your scrap, make up some spreader things. Couple hours, you make a dozen of these, you add five, ten bucks to the price of your boards, but you throw in these for free, you might be surprised that you uh, end up doing a little better at the markets and stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Icing Sipitars. Hi, right. Bye for now.